At Plural, we made it easy to self-host open source applications, and we've expanded our offering to include a continuous deployment solution for managing your company's software too. In this demo, we'll show you how to use Plural to manage your clusters, deploy your services, and more. We're starting off in Plural Console, our control plane for CD that's fully hosted within your own environment. Up front, you can see all the clusters we're deploying software to, across cloud providers and accounts. I can quickly check the status of those clusters and see any notifications, including available upgrades. I'll see any API deprecations I need to resolve and the Kubernetes versions I can upgrade to. Finally, I can see my cluster conditions across my fleet. When I want to use a new cluster, I have two options. I can either create a new cluster or bring in an existing Kubernetes cluster. To import a cluster, I just have to provide a name and handle and run a single command in my cluster to deploy our Plural deployment operator. To create a new cluster, I fill in my cluster details and choose a provider. You can see the new cluster being provisioned. Cluster setup includes deploying our Plural deployment operator, which efficiently pulls the control plane for any changes that need to be applied. This ensures that our control plane doesn't reach into these workload clusters, providing a more secure setup than push-based models. Additionally, our Kubernetes proxy allows us to create dashboards for visibility into these clusters without needing direct network access. Once our new cluster is provisioned, along with an additional bring your own cluster that my colleague added, we can deploy our services to it. We'll first import the Git repository containing our service and the associated Kubernetes manifests. I supply the URL of the repo and authorization if necessary and hit import. Once my service is pullable, I can deploy it to my clusters. Clicking the services tab, I can quickly see services deployed across all clusters in my fleet. This is my single pane of glass for visibility on what's deployed where. I can filter for a given service and see everywhere it's deployed, along with recent activity, status, and any errors. To deploy a new service, I'll fill in some details, then select a target cluster, then select a Git repository from those I've already synced. Plural CD also has secure centralized secrets management that I can use to parameterize the deployment with different variables. When I'm happy with the configuration, I can go ahead and deploy. To make things easier to see, I'll filter to the cluster we just deployed to. and we can see the service is now healthy. I can modify permissions for a given service by adding individuals or groups. I can also choose to make it global, meaning it will automatically be deployed to any cluster with matching labels. To get more detailed information on a service, I can view individual components, view the dashboards associated with it, I can view secrets, and past revisions. I can roll back to an older version if necessary, and also see any docs that have been configured. That's just a brief tour of what Plural CD can do, and we invite you to come check it out.